Hello, beautiful friends watching the YouTubes. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Carrie Blaze. I'm so glad to have you here. Uh, this is the Good Time Train, and it is pulling out of the station. Once again, it has been a while since I uploaded. I'm just in a zone of um, not giving a fuck lately, like in a good way, you know. I'm just taking time for myself and not putting anything on myself to do anything. Um, and I've been just working through a lot of shit. I had some rum last night, which um, I don't usually do. And now I am driving 35 minutes to get Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm such a slut. I have little Primrose in the car with me. She's kind of sleepy. She's getting a, a vaccine a week pretty much at her doggy pediatricians. And she seems a little tired today because she just got a booster. Oh, sweet girl. Yeah, I'm in therapy. My mom came to visit for about another week. She went home last week. The weather has been uh, very weird. It's kind of a the first really nice day that we've had in a while. It's been just really soupy and humid and muggy and raining, raining, raining and just doom and gloom for days on end, which I don't mind because any day in Maine is a beautiful day, but it's just, it's been a little weird. Anyway, thanks for joining me today, y'all. I hope y'all are doing awesome no matter where you are. I'm uh, my usual hot mess. We're just going to have a little car bang with some crappity crap Taco Bell. And here's the thing, like I've seen all the TikTok videos. I've seen all the videos on social media that the workers at Taco Bell show how the food is being made. I know it's really gross and I'm still putting it in my face hole because I have no fucking shame in my game. None. And there's no gray area with Taco Bell. You, it's like you love it or you hate it. There's no question that it's nasty, but is that the kind of nasty that you like is the question. Some people love those Jack in the Crack tacos. Now, I can't do those. I think those are way nastier than Taco Bell, I think. And even though the closest fast food treats are about 35 minutes away, it's Maine. It's not like LA where it's like a stressful, awful thing to go driving anywhere. This is just so nice. I enjoy it. I'm just like a little too excited about this, y'all. Oh, I just ordered my fat ass weight into, oh, yeah, I, yes. I'm not gonna eat it all. I just wanna have some of it for later because I'm a slut. We out here, we out here with our Baja Blast at the Taco Bell drive-thru. No bra. Well, what you say to the nice peoples? She's getting big, y'all. I know. You can't have any Taco Bell, though. It's not even good for your mother. Oh, well, now. Okay, Mommy really needs to put it in the face hole. Oh, well. Oh, well! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Smell the swill. I've been eating this shit for years, y'all. Every single Taco Bell video I do, it's the Gordita Crunch. It just always hits right when I'm craving it. Well, oh. shit always slaps. Oh. Ooh, y'all. Oh mm, gosh. What else can I tell y'all? Honestly, I've just been doing me lately. I've been out on the lake on the paddleboard with her. Start him young. She's doing pretty good at it. She likes to just sit and chill. She's been swimming in the lake a little bit. been fishing a little bit and um 
just kind of keeping it to myself. I haven't been, you know, felt compelled to vlog or, you know, what have you. I'm sure I will again. Um, but I've just been... Just been doing my own thing and working out my business and some of the stuff I'm coming to grips with like you know I lived in LA for 17 years and for a lot of that time I'm realizing now I was just in like a desperate sort of survival mode on this like hardcore grind and um I don't know, some of that is like PTSD for me. Seriously. Like the mental health, you know, little struggles to begin with. And then you add like a life in show business on top of that. And it's not the greatest mix sometimes. Because people are awful. People can be really awful, and if you don't know how to handle it well, the rejection and, oh God, the narcissism. Um, and also working through you know, friendships too. Oh God, somebody just pulled up right next to me. Older woman. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> what is this lady doing? Take a prim break. There she is. How cute is she? She's a little feisty today. You were kind of tired in the morning, but now you just you're barking at mommy because you want Taco Bell stuff that you can't have. She is doing great. Um, she did have a little case of what they call the beaver fever, which is it's called Giardia, I think, and it's a parasite that I think she ingested. Uh, from the lake. She might have swallowed some lake water, but the antibiotics knocked it right out. And she's doing just fine. Gotta get through this puppyhood phase, huh? So many things. But she's getting all her vaccinations and she's just full of it all the time. She certainly is a magical little pup. I mean, she's a completely different dog than Fran personality-wise, but there are some similarities, and not just because they're both dachshunds. Um, Prim is so sweet and empathetic. Um, she knows if you're upset, you know, I think all dogs can read people better than people can read people anyway, right? Yeah, she's just definitely the next emotional support. Ween, and um, yeah, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better one. The potty training is a little rough, um, but she's getting better every day, and certainly we're on the tail end of it. Like, almost no accidents in the house, right? But you have to learn how to tell mommy when you need to go. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my pim pim. What is it, pimmy pims? What is that? What is it? What are you needing and what are you wanting? Hey, show everybody your cute belly. Show everybody the belly. <laughs> Sitting nicely. You could say hello to her if you want. Here, let me. Hi. How are you? Oh, you adorable. I've had my shots. Hi. You're so cute. Her name's Primrose. Hi, Primrose. She loves everybody. Oh, we're just so cutie pie. Aww. Yeah, we that's... lucked. We lucked out. She's a really sweet little dog. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Just yeah. a baby. You're good to mommy. Huh? Yeah. You say hi to the. You're good to mommy. You have a cute <laughs> <laughs> You are so cute.
Thank you, yes, she you says are. nicely. You are so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to deal with the life, right? Oh, yes. Okay, nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, of course. Thank we you. like making people's days. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you, you too. Take care. Yeah, I think I'm in like a bank parking lot or something. Yeah, I wasn't gonna put the nice lady on camera. All right, um, I don't know what I want. So I just had a gordita, I don't need another taco. I always get them with extra cheese. Oh my God. Mmm, reconstituted bean pellets. I'm for it. And that's main for you too. People just come right up to you and start chit-chatting. It's awesome. Everybody's polite. Everybody's pleased and thank you. Have a nice day. Everybody's ready to be helpful. And just like anywhere else you have assholes, but for the most part, main vibes are good vibes, never bad. You know what, I think I am gonna put a little sauce in this. What is that? Is it like scrunched in the bottom of the barrel? Like what the fuck? Eating this gross, nasty food. Anyway, y'all, that's what I've been up to. I'm just kind of living my life and trying to figure out my life and try not to put any pressure on myself. Oh, this really cool thing happened. I should have mentioned it towards the beginning of the video, but I just thought of it. There's um this place in uh, Cornish, Maine. It's a super cute little town with like mom and pop owned shops. Uh, there's a toy store. There's a toy store. There's... um an apothecary with like herbs and teas and like oils and stuff. Um, a coffee shop. There's like a metaphysical place with incense and like crystals and shit. And then there's this place called the Artisan's Gallery. And it's a store, but everything in there is made by local artists. And my mom and I went in there a few times and the owner Shannon is super cool, really awesome lady. And all the things in there are beautiful like really good craftsmanship everything from like knitted hats and sweaters um you know mugs uh multimedia art paintings pictures um just like pretty much anything you can think of all made by local artists so i got to chatting with the owner shannon who is super cool and um she took me on and some of my art is being sold there now and i'm super pumped about that so, you know, we'll see if I actually sell anything, but just uh, just the fact that it's like out there um, kind of makes me feel good. How is that? Oh, I lost my sauce packet. Here we go. So yeah, that's a bit of like good news. I'll figure it out. I'm pretty full now. I'm gonna save the rest of this. I'm also doing some fun stuff this weekend. Tomorrow night I'm going to the farm in Westbrook. Dave and I are gonna bring a bunch of, like a big pot of steamed clams over there and sit on the porch and share it with everybody. Are you chewing on that? Okay. And then Saturday night, I'm driving two hours up to China, Maine for a pit party. They call it the pit. Our friend has this big piece of land and he made a man-made pond with like a water slide and all this fun shit. And uh, I'm going to spend the night there. It's like an all night party, but I'm going to probably leave a little early and crash at their house down the street because child, please. I can't remember the last time I pulled an all nighter. Um, like party wise, it's just not my thing, but, um, there's like daytime fun that begins where you could do water sports and hang out. And then there's like barbecue cookout supper at like six o'clock and then a band starts at nine. So we'll see how long I last, but like by 10 p.m. I'm usually kind of done. 
You want to help me sign off to nice peoples? I think that's it for today. A uh, 35 minute drive home. And I should start now because I just ate Taco Bell, if you get my drift. I can already feel it uh, starting to rumble. Anyway, once again, thanks so much, y'all, for joining me today. I hope y'all are doing great. Until next time, you know what to do. You keep snatching up those dreams in 2021. Much love to you all. You stay safe, you stay healthy, be kind, and we will see you on our next video. Mwah.